Hello, it's me, Max, again. Uh, it is uh, Monday, uh, April 6th, um, and this is uh, segment number 17 of uh, my Matthew Bible study. And um, it is uh, Matthew 5, 43 to 48. You have heard people say, love your neighbors and hate your enemies. But I tell, to your, I tell you to love your enemies and pray for anyone who mistreats you. Then you will be acting like your father in heaven. He makes the sun rise in both good and bad people. And he sends rain for the ones who do right and for the ones who do wrong. If you love only those who love you, will God reward you for that? Even tax collectors love their friends. If you greet only your friends, what's so great about that? Don't even unbelievers do that? But you must always act like your Father in Heaven. Now, this one, especially coming after um, uh, the, previous, uh, the previous segment on um, revenge, um, this one is very, very hard. I believe, I, I believe of, uh, of the teachings of Jesus, this, I believe, is one of the hardest to put in practice. I mean, it seems so easy. It seems so simple, but it's a, to love your enemies and pray for your enemies. And um, as you know, uh, while I wouldn't call them my enemies, um, I there's no love lost between me and the fundamentalists. Um, and I think I think I, I, and I and I have to work on that. And but it's but I I, I I see how that can turn to hate, and hate can lead down a very very dark path, a very very darn scary scary path. Um, I, I remember hearing someone like don't. Once heard, don't, don't, don't them, don't let them know they're getting to you or something. Or, 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 I believe. I mean, once you start hating, and once you start, the devil has you. And it's a very, very dangerous path, and it's where Christianity can be corrupted, uh, going all the uh, all the way back to. Um, to um, the uh, uh, to the Crusades, and, uh, and, and and I mean just hate when you hate someone, it's so easy to think of them as less than human, and it's okay to kill them. Especially if you think they're ant uh, against God's will, then you're doing God's will by killing them. You're doing God's will by hating them. But that isn't God's will. God's will, it says right here, is to love your enemies, to pray for them, and to love and pray and hope that they change. Because, I mean, I know God loves us. I mean, three, uh, John 3.16, he lo loves us so that he gives us the only, his only begotten Son. And even when we sin and even when we do s things that are just terrible in his eyes I mean we repent but he he loves us and he wants us to get better and so that's what I, I view I mean I but I mean but there's part of me there's part of me that, I mean, hates the hypocrites. And then, and then thinks, I mean, well, uh, Jesus railed against the Pharisees. So it's okay for me to. It's okay. It's like righteous anger. But only one person in the world has truly righteous, had truly righteous anger, and that was Jesus. None of us do. And... Uh, 
it's a very, very dangerous road. But, I mean, it just... And then I think, well... They broke this rule. Some of them, uh, them break this rule. I mean, those who... Um, in the 50s... Uh, went to a lynching party on Saturday, went to a church service on Sunday. Those who, I mean, are so hate-filled of gays. And I mean, some, I mean, it, it, a praying for them, praying, okay, but, but I mean, it just, I, I mean, I think of one of the last things that Jesus said on the cross. Forgive them, Father, for they do not know what they are doing. And if he could do that, I should be able to forgive the hypocrisy and forgive what I see. And, but it's hard. It is so hard. I mean, uh, anger, hatred, it eats at you. It, it, it's like a little cancer that, that starts small, but just builds and builds and builds until it consumes you. And there's that little voice in the back of your head that, that is the devil whispering into your ear, telling you, oh, it's okay. It's okay to hate them. I mean, look. Look at what they're doing. I mean, you read the Bible. You see that they're against God's will. So it's okay. It's okay to call them names, hate them. And then you say, okay, and then you start calling them names and hate them. Whatever, whatever group it is. And I say, see that over there? You better teach that guy a lesson. Teach him from being that. And then you might spit on him or rough him up a little bit. And then, okay. And then I say, you know what? There are too many of those in the world today. Too many. Why don't you take one of them out? It's okay. They're an affront to God. They're not doing God's will. God will approve. So, you take a gun or a knife or whatever, or your car, and uh, take them out. And then keep doing it and doing it. And then by the time you realize what a monster you've become, and you realize that the devil has you, it's too late. He owns, he owns your soul. And so that's why I don't want to go down that path. It's such an easy path to go down the path of hatred. And most people who hate, they hate themselves. I know, there's times when I hate myself. But, that's, why, that's when you pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for your enemies. Pray for those who offend you and persecute you. Pray for those who you think offend God. God can take care of himself. He doesn't need us. But yet, so that's why when you see, speak in love. Speak in love. Say, I think you're wrong here. And that's what I hope I'm doing. And if I ever do speak out of hatred or anger and not love, let me know. Because uh, we're all brothers and sisters in Christ and we're all keeping each other on task. So, God bless you.